Welcome to part three in a four-part series on how to change the tail number on your airplane, how to modify the PNG file. And we left off in part two where we just finished touching up some stuff and we were going to take a look at the airplane to see how it looked. So let's check that out. Okay, so here we are. This is finished as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you can decide if you want to get a lot more detail out of that or not but I'm thinking that's looking pretty good now let's add some numbers so now we need to select the text tool which is this A over here and we have our tool options here so we're gonna select a font and I've already gone through this and got one I think is pretty close basically you can type a letter in here and it'll give you every font under that letter I did a quick search and I didn't spend a lot of time on this. You may find a better one if you like. But I thought this, this Cambria Italic did pretty good. So I selected that. And now when we click over here, you see that we have Cambria Italic. And we're placing it right there. Let's take a look at the image and see where we want to put it. All right. So here's our image. Again, we're going to start right here. We're going to type an N. And so here's our N, and now we want to position it and size it and make it the right color. So let's start by positioning it. We do that by clicking in the uh, by the letter here, holding down the Alt key, and now we can move that to where we want it. We're going to leave it right there for now. Then we're going to double click in here until it's highlighted, and now we go up to Font, and we're just going to make that bigger and bigger and bigger until we get the font we want or what we think is the right size so let's make this box a little bigger here so we can actually see the end and now let's move it up here and we still need to go a little bigger and we want to remember the font size because we want to use the same font size for every letter that's looking pretty good, but let's just go to 70. I think 70 might be a good size to use. Uh, maybe 71. Whoops, we lost it. 71. All right. So we don't want to spend a lot of time here doing this, so let's just say 71. We just decide 71 is the font we want, and there it is. So now we double-click in here. We click on Color and that opens up a color palette and now we select the color we want now it has an option here that I couldn't get to work you should be able to click here and you get this eyedropper tool and we should be able to click on this color here but it just didn't work so we're gonna have to kinda guess maybe it'll work on your computer and mine it didn't so let's pick a color up here that we think is pretty close and I'm gonna say let's go right about there and we're going to click OK. And so there's the color I selected. Let's just move that over, holding down the Alt key and dragging it over next to our number or our color here. And you know what? That looks really, really, really nice. So let's just go ahead and put that back where it was. And now we can go ahead and replace, not replace, but place the next letter. And I want to use. Um, a number of an airplane that I actually fly up in Reading and it's November 84 Delta Lima so I'm gonna just put an 8 here and I'm gonna select that and we're gonna put in a font of 71 and hit enter and then the color I probably should have tried to remember what this was but it was right about there um, okay, so you want to remember this number right here. You could probably type that number in if we went back to the other font, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to slap this in here. Uh, so just next time when you do this, uh, when you get the number, uh, copy that number, and then you can paste it the next time around. So we're going to say okay for that one. We're going to hold down the Alt, and we're going to move this fella up and put him right underneath that line. 
and I'm going to do this really quickly here so we can move on. Okay, I went ahead and did that. No sense in you watching me do all this stuff. The one thing I want to show you what I did was for the color, I clicked on the color palette and then I had copied this one. So I just hit Control V and it put the number here and then I selected OK and I was able to change, make sure all the numbers were the same. So when you're doing this on your first letter, if you have to go through and and just try to match this as best as possible. When you get the number you want, highlight it, control C, and the next time you can just do control V and you'll get the same one every time. Uh, so let's go take a look and see what this looks like on the airplane. 